Good morning, friends. Teacher Lori here. Welcome to Hive Time. I hope you're having a great day. Are you enjoying your breakfast? Usually about this time, some of you are enjoying your breakfast or you already had breakfast. Was it cereal? Was it pancakes? Was it coffee? Was it a chocolate chip cookie? Was it pizza? Hmm. I bet some of you at this point are having some very creative breakfasts. Good job, mom and dad. Here is your 10 minutes. Okay, and today's book is going to be Me and My Flying Machine by Mariana and Mercer Mayer. It's an older book. I've never actually read this one, but it looks magical. So first we've got to get our circle time hands ready. So put your hands up, put your hands down, slide them very slowly, slide them very fast. Put your hands up, put your hands down, roll them very slowly roll them very fast one more time put your hands up put your hands down pound them very slowly pound them very fast lay them in your lap so me and my flying machine and this was recommended to me and i said Sure, I'll take book requests because I'm, you know, running out of some books and some ideas. I need a library card to open back up here. <laughs> um, so, but look how magical this book is. And I feel like I remember this author myself from when I was younger, but I'm blanking on it. But me and my time machine. So, last summer, I discovered an old barn. It was full of great things. I already like where this is going. There were boxes, pieces of wood. There were even nails and a hammer. I could build anything I wanted. I'll build a flying machine, I thought. And I started building. I worked all day. Some of us right now, some of you guys are finding things to build. And look, he's recycling. My flying machine was almost finished, but it was dinner time and I had to go wash the dog. So I closed up the barn for the night. Goodbye, flying machine. I finish you tomorrow, I said, and went home. That night, I dreamed about my flying machine and how it would look when I finished. It would be something tremendous. It's a good word, There's some big words in this one. Smaller than a castle, but bigger than a truck. Look at the pictures. I like that. Smaller than a castle, but bigger than a truck. I finally decided on something smaller. Besides, it would take me too long to build a big flying machine. There were so many things I could do. I'd deliver mail to Eskimos and people who never get mail. So remember again, for verbiage, this is an old book. I'd fly above the fog and rescue lost boats at sea. I'd carry mountain climbers to the mountaintop so they wouldn't have to spend so much time climbing. Birds could rest on the wings if I was tired, if they were tired from flying around all day. Look at all those birds. From high in my flying machine, I could see everything. So I'd always know where everything was and I'd never get lost. I'll help cowboys catch their cows. After all, a flying machine is much faster than a horse. My flying machine would be would win first prize in every race. Look at all those other flying machines. I do dangerous tricks in the air like hanging by my teeth from a long rope, blindfolded. <laughs> and if I fell, I wouldn't worry. I just open my parachute and drift safely down. My flying machine would meet me when I landed. It's a smart flying machine. And soon I'd have so many medals and trophies that I wouldn't know where to keep them. I couldn't wait to finish my flying machine. The next day I ran all the way to the old barn. 
everything was just where I left it. There was more work to do, so I nailed on another wing and some stuff. Gotta love building things that say some stuff. I finished working on my flying machine, but somehow it didn't look quite the way I thought it would. There was a brush and some old paint cans lying around, so I used a little of each. It was just what my flying machine needed. It looked better than I had imagined, so I tied a rope on the end to pull my flying machine outside to dry. It creaked and moaned and started to shake as I pulled. And then, before I could pull it out of the barn, my flying machine fell apart. Tomorrow I'll build a rowboat. Me and my flying machine. What a great book that was. I'd never read that book. And I like it because he took some things he found and he just made something that he came up with in his mind. He used his imagination, it's up here, and created what he thought was a flying machine. And when it fell apart, did he cry? No. Did he get frustrated? Probably a little bit, but you know what he thought? It's okay. Tomorrow I'll build a rowboat. Because the whole idea was the process. And he worked so hard. And I liked that he was working good work. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Do something fun. Go outside. Build a flying machine. Maybe on paper though first. Right? Send those great wishing thoughts. And like the, this little boy in this book, use your imagination today. See what you can come up with, even in your own backyard. So, and since he was building a rowboat, should we sing before we catch our bees? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to what? Scream! Remember, inside voice, it's early if you're watching this before breakfast. I hope you have a glorious day. And let's catch those bees. Bzzz. I got him. Do you got him? How many you got? That's a lot of bees. Let's get it ready to let him go. Bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. <gasps> Ouch. I stung me. I'm talking to my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm talking to my baby bumblebee. They said what? I'll use my imagination today. It was an accident. I'm sorry. How can I help you? Can I have a Band-Aid? Would you like one? How about an ice pack? Let's let him go. I let go of my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I let go of my baby bumblebee. They're happy to be free. Have a wonderful day today. Enjoy your week. Do something magical. For yourself, big hugs, and for somebody else. See you tomorrow on High Time.